We're visiting Virginia Family Dentistry talking with Dr. Mike Catogio about some of the common questions that you get about cosmetic dentistry. Building a beautiful smile today is a lot different than it used to be. It certainly is. Yes. Yeah. You deal with a lot of folks coming in who are looking for a beautiful smile, mm -hmm. but maybe apprehensive because they think, well, this is going to be pretty challenging, right? Absolutely. Whitening is one of those questions every yes. day. So one of the most common questions we get every day is whitening. Um, and many people know that there's over-the-counter products and they work well, but there's also a lot of products that we can offer that work a little bit better and can be a little bit more convenient and a little less messy. Uh, one of the products we use very commonly is take-home whitening trays where we take molds of your teeth, we give you all the instructions and the materials you need, and you take it home and you do it at your leisure. It works very, very well. It may take a week or two to get the result that you're looking for. Um, and typically we see four to five shade difference, which is a big jump for most people. Um, it works well for the people, especially that have really sensitive teeth, yeah. okay? You can kind of take your time with it if you need to. If you have a little sensitivity, you take a day off and then return as you feel comfortable. So that's one option that we offer a lot of. The other is the in-office whitening, which is great. So for the people that don't want to spend the time doing it at home, which I know I wouldn't be very good about doing it myself, um, we have them come to the office, they spend an hour or so with us, and we take care of it for you. Uh, whiten the teeth, we still get the same result, but it just takes much less time, it's much more convenient. It's funny, there, there are options for both, which do make it convenient, mm -hmm. and then therefore successful no matter how you tackle it. Sure. I was thinking it'd be nice to do it in the comfort of your home, but sure. either way, you guys can help. Yep. These days, there are measures that are conservative. Conservative cosmetic veneers, yes. what is this? So. Many people are concerned that they have issues that they'd like to address, whether it be spacing or coloring issues or shape of their teeth is not quite what they want. Um, but they're very concerned about removing tooth in order to change those things or fix those things. So nowadays with technologies and the materials that are out there, we can conservatively remove some tooth and yet fix the problems that they're looking to fix. Um, and a lot of times that can be done digitally on the computer before we do anything. We can look at that together. Uh, and it can be done in a matter of one or two appointments. Uh, and, a lot, and people are very surprised at how little tooth we have to remove sometimes in order to correct an issue that they're having. That really can so. be a hurdle to wrap your mind around mm -hmm. in thinking about that. So that's yep. great as an option. One of the things we were talking about before we got started was kind of new to me, but certainly part of your everyday, this metal margin concept, right? And this yeah. is a whole different, yeah. explain what that is. So there are a lot of folks that have had crowns or caps put in their mouth over the years, and they may have been the older style porcelain fused to metal crowns. And those were crowns that worked very well, but they had a metal substructure or underlying um, material. And they're used to seeing that black line right at the gum. And they're concerned that if you're going to do anything in the front, that's what they're going to see. But nowadays, the vast majority of crowns, and certainly all the cosmetic ceramic crowns that we do for anterior teeth or aesthetic looking teeth, uh, no, no metal is used, so we don't have that issue anymore. So mm. we've been able to. Yeah. Tackling, that. tackling fillings today is different mm -hmm. than, it, than it ever really was before, too. Sure. You may encounter these days, especially if you had it done quite some time ago, a failing filling. Yep. So we see a lot of fillings over the years that were done. Many were metal or dark in color, and people don't necessarily like that anymore. Nowadays, as you know, you can use white fillings, and we can make them look just as nice as natural teeth. Sometimes even the white fillings, though, when done in the front over years and years of use, will start to dull or get a little stain around them. So at that point, we can have a discussion about replacing those fillings with something a little nicer or moving towards a veneer or something that will hold up longer and look a little nicer over the long run. Right. And one of the last questions that I have for you is one of the questions that you, you find very frequently with folks who maybe are grinding, right? Yes. And they have yes. some, some damage to the teeth. Yeah. So it's a very common thing. We see a lot of folks, we're all kind of stressed out these days. So we see a lot of folks that either grind their teeth or clench and just squeeze really hard. And the folks that tend to grind their teeth over years and years of time will come to me and say, hey, doc, what can we do about these little teeth or I don't really show as much tooth as I used to, you know, how can we correct that? And, and often, many times, in one or two appointments, we can rebuild the teeth to the proper length and look and, you know, get a really nice result for most patients. Dr. Mike Catogio here at Virginia Family Dentistry. Some great options for making that beautiful smile today. It is more encouraging, easier than ever, right? You Absolutely. can make it happen. Absolutely. We can try and make it as convenient and quick and painless as possible.